Hi everyone, Jeremy here from VJ Studio and today I'll show you how to recreate this asset from our history pack. I'll teach you the techniques behind it and how you can do it yourself in Fusion. But if that's too complicated for you, you can just download that template for free with the link in the description below and use it directly in the edit page. This is a free sample from our history pack. So if you like those kind of assets, check out the full pack on our website that contains over a hundred cohesive assets to help you edit better video faster. With that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna first go over to Fusion and we're gonna bring a new background here in our working area, linking the background to the media out and then reducing the alpha channel down to zero. That way we have a transparent background that's gonna act as a canvas. We're gonna build this title in three steps. The first one is gonna be the outline animation. Second is gonna be the fill animation. And finally, we're gonna add some texture to it. So to do this, we're gonna use the shape node system because that's the only way to uh, animate outline. So I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and I'm gonna search for S text and we're gonna bring that in. And then we're gonna hit shift space again and search for S render and we're gonna bring that in we're gonna need to use the s render to basically visualize what we are doing with the shape element because there are vectors so here i'm just gonna link my s text to my s render and then i'm gonna link back my s render to my main composition here by linking it to the background now we're gonna write whatever text we want so here i'm gonna write socrates and then we're gonna change the color to red and I'm gonna switch the font to overused grotesque then we're gonna increase the size so it's filling up all frame and we can see properly what we're doing the reason why we are using the s text instead of the normal text is because we're gonna be able to use the s outline node that's gonna allow us to create that outline animation it's not possible to do in the text node alone so here with my s text selected i'm gonna hit shift space again and i'm gonna search for s outline and i'm gonna bring that in now as you can see it has outlined all text now we're gonna reduce the thickness so it's a bit more readable right now i think 0.005 seems to be good and we're gonna animate this by adjusting here the length so we're gonna drop some keyframe on the lens i'm gonna go to frame 15 and i'm gonna drop a first keyframe on the lens at one and then i'm gonna go back to frame zero and we're gonna bring the lens down to zero and now if we play it as you can see we have an outline animation now for the fill animation we're gonna reuse the exact same s text but we're gonna generate another output so here i'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and search for another s render and bring that in we're gonna take the output here of the text and we're gonna bring it to the s render too and now if we toggle between those two render as you can see this render is fill because it hasn't been through the outline and this one is the outline because it's been through the node outline now we're going to bring a displace node to create all fill animation so here again i'm going to do shift space and search for displace and i'm going to bring a displace node now i'm going to link the s render to the green arrow and i'm going to link it as well to the yellow arrow and then we're going to link the displace to our main composition then now let's go back to our media out view so we can see the entire composition and as you can see there is some displacement happening with that fill however it's in radial we don't want that we want to switch that to x and y now nothing seems to happen it's because for any displacement to happen we need to act here on the refraction and that's what we're going to be using to create our animation so right now by default it's kept at 0.1 but we can increase that to whatever value we want by inputting it so right now basically the fill as you can see is out of the text frame and then we're just gonna bring it here into the text i'm gonna want that to happen towards the middle of my outline animation so here i'm gonna go at frame 10 and we're going to put the Y refraction at 0.5. I'm going to drop a keyframe and then we're going to go to frame 20 and I'm going to bring it back to zero. And now if we play it, we pretty much get our animation. However, I would like to make it slightly smoother. To do that, I'm going to open my spline editor. Here, I'm going to toggle the S outline and the displace. I'm going to click zoom to fit to make sure that I'm seeing all my points. And then I'm going to select all of them hit the letter s on my keyboard 
then hit the letter T and bring the easy in and ease out. And I'm gonna bring the easy in to about maybe 60. As you can see, that smoothing out those curve and nod animation is gonna be a lot smoother. So already here in a few minutes, we've created quite an interesting animation. Now we can go a step further and give that text some texture to make it look even more interesting. To give it some texture, you're gonna need to use some texture. So I will recommend to go to Texture Lab and select whatever texture you would like to apply to your text. That could be paper, that could be, uh, you know, marble, that could be anything. In my case right now, I'm just gonna go with a simple paper texture, but I'll show you how you can go a bit more crazy with other type of texture after. So I'm just gonna download that at a large scale. I'm gonna drag my texture here in my working area, and I'm gonna link it here to my merge too. And as you can see, obviously it's taking over the entire frame. Now we need to go to the merge three and adjusting the apply mode and the operator mode. In operator, I'm gonna switch from over to in. And now the texture is going to be inside of my text. You can stop here if you want the text to get both the texture, the color and everything from the texture. But if you want to maintain uh, the color that you set, so in our case that was red, you can go then to apply mode and switch to screen. Now, if we zoom in, as you can see, we will still retain the texture of the paper, but we also gonna get the color of the text. Now it's great, we having the texture directly on the text, but we could go again a step farther and try to displace the edges of that text to give it texture as well. To do that, I can select my merge three, hit shift space on my keyboard, search for a displace node again, and then bring that in. Then we're gonna feed here our media in one, to the displace two, And as you can see already, it's just affecting here the edges of that text. Same thing as for the first displace, we don't want to use radial, we're gonna use X and Y instead. Now, if we're adjusting the X refraction and the Y refraction, as you can see, the texture is affecting the edges of our text. You can then just tinker with this uh, until you get the desired look. It will greatly depend on the type of texture that you've selected. Something that I like to do generally is linking the X refraction and the Y refraction. So here I will just right click on the X refraction, select expression, and then link that expression to the Y refraction. Now they're gonna be basically displaced the same way and it's gonna give like a more uh, unified look, I think, uh, overall. And now that's pretty much it. We have our final animation. Now let me show you with a few other type of texture, what you might need to tweak in order to get a decent look. So here, for example, I've selected that newspaper collage. And now if we check, as you can see, it doesn't look necessarily the best yet. We're gonna need to adjust a few things to make it better. Obviously the text has displaced also the text within the texture. So maybe we're gonna need to reduce a little bit you know, the displacement. Also for something like that, that is a bit more random. Maybe you don't want to have things linked together and you want to have more displacement on the X axis or uh, on the Y axis. Also right now, if the newspaper is too visible and you want to reduce it, you can go over to the merge three and here reduce the blending mode and it will basically blend the color and the journal a bit more. That way the journal is gonna be less pronounced and you're gonna have more of the red. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can create that title inside of DaVinci Resolve. Again, if that's too complicated for you, you can download uh, that specific title with the link in the description below. Uh, this is a sample from our history pack. You will get this title that you can use from the edit page, as well as uh, a couple of other assets uh, that are included with it. If you enjoyed those kind of assets, you can find on our website, the history pack, which is a pack that contains over 150 assets, just like that for DaVinci Resolve. There is also a link in in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.